Good morning, everyone, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my first Swedish tank battle video. This is the SAV 20.12.48, which is a 120 millimeter gun adapted in 1948. So that's how most of the vehicle naming conventions work for the Swedish. And we'll just look at that real quick and just show you, like, for instance, the STRV-122, it's the second vehicle with a 120mm gun behind the STRV-121. The 103C has a 105mm gun. So it doesn't exactly fit, but the CV-90-105 has a 105mm gun. The CV-90-120 has a 120mm gun. So, the so most of the guns actually show you... Uh, the name actually shows you the caliber of the gun. In this case, it's a 120, and it's from 1948. It is a tank destroyer. It's got the 120 millimeter gun. It's got a uh, drum magazine autoloader. Wait, hang on. Nope, it's not a drum. I'm sorry. Correction. It has a regular autoloader inside. Look at that. There's actually a submachine gun mounted on the inside of the wall. That's so pretty let's neat. Let's look at the X-ray real quick. Should be able to see. There we go. It's a like a, an automatic six-round magazine rather than a drum autoloader. So my mistake there. It's not. It's not an auto loader, a uh, drum autoloader, but it's basically like a uh, handgun, an automatic handgun style cartridge loader. So about this vehicle, I specifically avoided playing anything Swedish tanks until the patch updated and all Swedish tanks were available, i.e. today. And the reason for that is I wanted to be able to show you whether or not how the uh, SAV 201248 would be effective in researching everything up through Tier 3. And the only best way to do that would have been to have it, which I was gifted this permanently by Gaijin. I should have mentioned that at the start. Uh, if I remember, I'll put up a disclaimer at the start of the video. But I permanently own the vehicle rather than just a test drive. So the um, rewards in both Silver Lions and RP will be the full proper rewards you can expect to get unless they do a drastic change to them in the near future. But this is not going to be the reduced rewards that normally happen with a premium vehicle test drive where you don't get the full times two. So whatever research and silver line gains I get from this, it's the same as if you also have a premium account and um, a premium vehicle. So we're just going to start with the regular old vehicles that are available for research here, and we'll just go right down the line. This will be the next thing I'll research will be the FMV, FMV, the FM4344, because that thing is absolutely hilarious and I can't wait to use it. But we're just going to go right down the line. We'll stick with this thing first as SPAA because SPAA is going to be useful. And we'll just keep right on going. Now, this is a 3.7. So I'm not going to bring most of these vehicles in as a backup. I'm just going to drive this thing by itself as a 3.7, which means I'm going to be one and done, which I preach against. I know and I understand. But in this case, because now that the uh, vehicle is released, well, the whole tech tree is released, rather, there are no backup automatic three spawns like there were during the closed beta, but I'm going to go ahead and just play it like this until I get three point. If I, let me put it this way. If I unlock enough stuff that I, before I'm done with this video, that I've got 3.7 vehicles as backups, I may throw them in, but probably not. So like most other brand new tech trees, what I'm going to do is do each vehicle by itself as a video. And then starting with the lowest battle ratings, and then as I go, I will add in the previous vehicles as the backups to the rest of the lineup, and then just upgrade my lineup as I go all the way up to 10.3. So there you have it. Let's um, take a look at the armor here. It's not probably going to save you from too much, but there is a bit of armor there. At least the uh, machine gun rounds should be stopped. And uh, the ammo, let's look at the actual modifications here. You, your APCBC round... Has got a pretty good, uh, pretty good looking shell for uh, 3.7, even up to 4.7. It should be pretty decent. Um, the HE is even not that bad and should have pretty good explosive power. If you can fire it underneath enemy tanks, you should be able to do a pretty good amount of damage to the soft underbellies. 
all the rest of everything is um, available. It's a premium vehicle, so it comes fully spaded. I've got smoke grenades and uh, the engine. Let's take a look at the speed here. Not bad. Up to 30 miles an hour maximum, so we'll expect around probably 20. It's a 20 ton vehicle. That's not too bad. 400 horsepower. That's not too bad either. Vertical rotation or vertical guidance rather is uh, negative 10 and plus 25. That's perfectly acceptable for a tank destroyer. It is an open top tank destroyer, so that's a bit of a concern. We meaning you can get strafed out or rocketed out from uh, above. So we'll have to be very, very careful about that. All right, let's uh, turn that back off. We'll take a quick look to see if there are any camos available. I don't. Oh, there are. Okay, so we've got tricolor wavy. That's cool looking. That's quite nice. Is that earnable? It is earnable. 105 kills. Bicolor winter, which is all right. That's fair enough. That'll that'll help in some maps. That is 195. Not purchasable. You have to just straight up earn it. You can't buy the tricolor winter camo. Unicolor winter you can purchase, and that is 150 kills. And then quadricolor summer camo, noise. Very nice. I like. That's uh, good for 200. And since you can only purchase it, I will go ahead and order it now. So we've got a camo to use on some certain maps. All right. Very nice looking. So um, I will drive this thing without bushes just for the purposes of this new vehicle test drive. Well, not test drive, but new vehicle video rather. And if it, uh, I'm getting just killed constantly because I'm being spotted too much, I will throw some bushes on it. But we'll go without bushes for now, just for the sake of driving the thing as if I didn't have any bushes available. So we'll primarily probably use this camo because that is pretty sweet looking. And uh, that ought to cover it. There's my uh, aircraft for the lineup that I'll hope to bring in if I get the opportunity. And I think it's about time to get this thing into a battle and stop talking about it. So we'll see you guys in just a moment in battle number one. All right, battle number one. Not too long on the matchmaking either, so that's nice. So we have got 30 total rounds of ammo. And we could probably bring a few more, but anyway, that's what we brought for now. So 25 main gun ammo and look at that. Sweden versus Sweden. Imagine that. Everybody is driving a SAV. Oh my god. I shouldn't be surprised by this whatsoever. Look at this. This is hysterical. Oh my god. Um, one thing I forgot to mention was... My crew is a zero skill crew. So any crew points I have after each battle, I'll show you how much I'm uh, totaling up each time and we'll see how it goes and of course we get battle for the first battle so that's something but can't be helped what I should have done was drive over here and guard the bridge but it's uh it's already kind of too late I don't see anybody yet Oof, ouch so I have not even driven this thing in a test drive yet, so I don't know the ballistics besides what I've seen from a couple people's videos. I don't know the uh, shell penetrations or anything. We'll see how it goes. good gun traverse. Way short. Alright. Okay, I was way short on those initial shots, but... There's somebody right there. Whatever I'm shooting at, it's not an enemy tank. Okay. Any more of them out there?
back off here. And uh, I wonder if we can make it up this hill without getting annihilated from behind. My guess is going to be no, but we're going to try it. Definitely saw those guys over there. Alright, so we got a couple of them in here. We know that. We've got three smoke discharges. I imagine they go one at a time. So that's good. Look at this little guy. <laughs> Wonder how many new players we have who don't know about like communicating and marking maps and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. anybody up here. Well, that's someone, isn't it? Ah! Taken out as I got my gun sight on him. Alright, so far, not much going on. Gonna get up here, touch their zone, and back rack out of it. Or actually just drive right through it. Still quite a lot of them in the battle. That's not good. Twenty-one. That's not good at all. Let's just continue back into the rocks before he comes back. Those thirteen twos are not anything I want being fired at me. Wow, that was close. That was close. Woo -hoo -hoo. Scary business right there. Okay. Got an enemy vehicle right up. Oh, hello. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I know you're practically in their spawn. No, yep. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, not a great start, but uh, we did get a kill. Let's see if we got an airplane or not. I'm probably not going to show it for the purposes of this battle because you guys are here to see the SAV. Blah, 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 but whatever. And there we go. First battle is a victory. So that'll be good. There won't be a whole lot of score, most likely, but it is a victory. And 3,701 is not too bad without any sort of a any sort of a booster. So, let's see what kind of crew points we got. We got 3,125. I did get an air-to-air. -air co-kill with another A21. <gasps> Head on, of course. Alright, uh, let's see how we did for uh, crew points. Alright, we got 35, so we'll put that into probably the driver and the tank commander. Alright, we'll see you in battle two. Yep! Perhaps not surprisingly, we... Um, are gonna apparently you just get conquest and battle. That's fun. It's only been it's only the second battle, so it's not the end of the world. But are we Sweden on Sweden? No, we're not. Okay. Not only are we not Sweden on Sweden, but we're also we've got a non mixed battle. So good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Look at us move. Twenty nine miles per hour. I almost didn't remember where they had moved the uh, speed and everything to down there at the bottom left. I'm not not a huge proponent of the change there, but we'll get used to it, I suppose. Sorry. I'm sorry. Pretty quick so far. Pretty good speed down that hill. No 
Okay. There may not be anybody over here. But I would expect to find somebody. There's somebody right here. Somebody's definitely... Hello. There's a target. That worked. That worked too. Another one coming. Oh boy, did I find an ambush spot. Goodness gracious. Better get some more ammo back in. Goodness gracious. They have to know I'm here by now. Too bad he got killed a little too late, but I'll take that. Four kills and an assist is better than last battle. My goodness, not a single one of them went the way I went. All right, that went pretty well. Picked up a couple more with uh, my air support there. But that's not what we're here for, so let's see how we did with the SAV. A little better, yeah, 4,700. That's uh, quite a bit improved. Not bad, not bad. A little bit of research for the airplanes, that's fine. All right, so let's see how those kills went. 13,700 for the kills from the SAV 2012. That's not too bad. That's a quarter of my score there. Not bad, not bad at all. All right. Very nice, very nice. Let's uh, see how much more research we get if we can finish two vehicles in the same. Uh... Very nearly. That's funny, that's how close we came. <laughs> that's all right, okay. Battle three, coming at ya. Okay, Battle 3, and I was told about this. They reversed the A and C points on Alaska. I, I don't know why. Yep. 
Sweden on Sweden again. Not, not perhaps surprising. Yeah, this works better when you guys actually start driving at the beginning of the battle there, fellas. It does work better. Most likely it's going to be a lot of sav on sav violence here. Oh well. Well, I hit him. Interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure what uh, I was bouncing off of, but it'd be cool if my gunner reloaded. All right then, that's fun. Okay. I'm not sure how I hit him and knocked out his track and his transmission and he was able to keep right on driving. Alright, let's see what kind of payout we get for a capture point. It's probably it's not going to be a solo capture, certainly. There's going to be plenty of people heading up there to get it, but we'll at least go get a cap and see what happens here. Hawaii 5 -0. I'm Guadalcanal. I mean, it's probably the most appropriate map you're probably going to encounter since Pearl Harbor map is a test flight map, but that's funny. He's got a bow sticker. Can't tell what... Oh, never mind, it's the eyes. Okay. Okie doke. And yes, I saw the Fly Daily sticker too. I know everyone's going to be tripping over themselves to point it out. Okay. Anybody going to wait? Anybody going to wait? Nope, yes. Yes. And I think we're good. Let's go. Let's go get it, fellas. Good job, guys. There's one there. Oh, I thought I'd killed him. Oh, that's artillery. That is artillery coming in. I was about to say, why is there a jet? And then realized what I was hearing. That's awesome. We're just gonna get a new crew member here. While we can. We'll do a little bit of reloading. That guy was about here-ish. So uh, I did a little bit of crew upgrading, as you might know. Didn't really see whole lot of point in continuing on for too long with a crew without any skills because it was definitely affecting my crew's ability to do things quickly and that is a problem so Sweden is on the other team it is a partially mixed battle it's definitely a 4.7 battle there's a M4A1 FL10 that is an issue oh look look at that did he see us? Oh, this guy, though. Darn it. Okay. Got that one, at least. get up there and get a shot into him. That would be great. Yes. Yes, indeed. God bless the autoloader on that one. Somebody close right here. Ooh, bounced one. Got him. That was lucky. That, I can't believe I actually survived a hit from somebody. That pretty much shouldn't ever happen. That was lucky, 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 lucky right there. Uh-oh, getting strafed. That's not good. That's probably going to be a bomb. 
except it wasn't. Let's try to get under some sort of cover here. Multiple air. Multiple air on us here. Not, not great. So far we're okay, but not great. Not great. Lost one of crew. Lost, lost one of my crew members. I would like to get out of this place now. There's a target right there. We can get to him. He just got taken out, didn't he? Oh, that wasn't the one I saw, actually. Oh, he's still there. Ah, I wanted to get that first ace battle. There's too many of them strafing. Almost. Almost got the first ace battle with the Sav. Too bad, but it was close. I was I saw where the guy was and I don't think he was looking at me. He may have been he may have been able to kill me, but I think I had him. But anyway. Okay, I bumped up the ammo count to 35 total, just five more APC BC rounds. See how it goes. Alright, it is not. Sweden on Sweden. That's good. Take care of that little problem. I know there's somebody in here with me. I hear him. Got him. No, behind you, behind you, behind you, dude. Almost got the cap. Alright, that's pretty good payout. So we know that M10 is right up there. <laughs> nice work. I think we'll be departing now. Yep, we're out of here. Achilles just took out our buddy over here with me. Yeah, we're gonna keep right on going this way. Come on, break through, break through, break through. Somebody's taking B, we can't help that at the moment. Got our buddy over here. Yup. Where'd you go, little one? There we go. Let's get the heck out of here. Alright, they took C behind me. Gonna reload a couple rounds. Oh cool, it fired all my smoke instead of just one. That's not great.
Hopefully we can get a couple rounds reloaded here. Should be the guy who decapped Charlie. We'll just get back into position here. Try to take Charlie back. There's just a few of them left. We're doing all right. We're doing quite all right. Artillery, we're going to chance it. I don't like it, but we're going to chance it. I want to get that second capture in. Got it. Let's get out of here. So far, so good. Three of them left, at least one was an airplane. Sounds like the teammate, I believe, that I'm hearing. Yep. Yep, I'm hearing the teammate. Got about three of them left still. I hold here for the moment. Elevation's really good on this gun. Oh, can we get back here and pick up the first ace battle, or are we just cursed, cursed to not get an ace battle? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Nope. Just saw one. I think. I think I saw somebody back here. I might not have. No, I don't think I did, actually. Two of them left. One's in a plane. may well both be in airplanes. I think that's it. We're just not quite picking up that first ace battle. Alright, I think we're going to wrap it up here, though, because this video is just about as long as I want it to be. Despite not picking up the first ace battle, we'll call that the first fully survived battle, though. So, so there is that. Alright. And we picked up the... Uh, last rank one tank. So that was a pretty good payout. Uh, no boosters again. So pretty good payout for uh, four kills and two captures there. The captures in particular. The captures paid more for half as many as the kills did, which should again highlight why captures are still more, still more beneficial than uh, kills are. Kills obviously are necessary, but they're not all that there is to this game. Especially if you want to make enough money to pay your repair bills. Alright, so... There we go. So, we will roll into the final thoughts for the SAV 20.12.48. It's a fun little tank destroyer. Certainly capable of destroying probably right on up to uh, anything in the game. Uh, obviously... The more armor something has, the more closer you're going to have to get, and the more you're going to have to kill it with either a side shot or a rear aspect shot, of course. But 
The 120 millimeter gun from close range and APCBC should be able to kill just about anything. So this should be useful for quite a while. It's also, like we said, it's uh, useful for research all the way through tier three. It's efficient at researching all the way up, including tier three. Stopping, you'll start losing, you'll start losing efficiency at tier four. So you can research all of these vehicles right here very efficiently with the SAV. 2012-48 so that's actually quite nice and uh, I'm gonna go through and purchase all these guys right now after this and uh, start working on them as well and potentially uh, at least when I get up to the 4.0s I can have this thing as a backup vehicle but yeah I enjoyed it uh, a couple things to watch out for there's only three crew so that nearly bit me a couple times and did did in fact bite me at least once on the uh, Guadalcanal map but uh, the six-round auto-loading magazine is awfully nice. It is awfully nice. That was uh, quite handy in a couple cases. So very nice to have. Just keep an eye on how many shots you fired and keep an eye for your crew to be reloading them. Give them a chance to try and get one or two more back in there if you can help it without rapid firing off all six. It's uh, quite a fun vehicle, and uh, I would recommend acquiring it if you want to grind the early stages of the Swedish tech tree. However, either the STRV 103-0 or the CV 90105 would be more efficient and better use of your money if you're going to buy a premium to grind out the Swedish tree. Obviously this being the best one because it's efficient all the way through tier seven. A rank six premium, but don't worry, it's not top rank because there's there's a rank seven now, see? See how that's not a top tier premium? Because there's a there's a seventh tier, guys. But all that aside, it's definitely worth it. Um, you're better off with one of these, obviously, probably this one being obviously the best. But it's definitely good. It was fun. I enjoyed driving it. I'm glad that I was able to get it from Gaijin for free, of course. But it would be worth it would be worth the money that you pay for it, although it's not the most efficient grinder, because it's only a rank two. But I think I've covered everything I need to cover for uh, day one content here. Thank you all very much for watching. We'll see you all soon, and uh, have a great rest of your day, guys. Good luck to all of you with your Swedish tank grinding, and we'll see you in the next video.